So question, what was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's patented shot? The sky hook, right? Jordan, the fadeaway. Tim Duncan, the bank shot. Steph Curry, the three. But with Steph Curry, not just the three, some of you may not know, he very rarely misses from the corner shot, the corner three. I like, like he shoots it at like 80% or 70%, it's something ridiculous. So what I'm saying is, in trading, what's gonna be your go-to money trade? I know of two. Let's go deeper. Okay, guys, so listen, hear me out. You only need two setups to win. And there's two that are great. And I'm gonna use the zigzag to show it, it'd be a little bit easier. The first setup is the second entry long. If we look at this top right here, and we're gonna use the zigzag, it'll, it'll help you see it easier. This is a push down. This push up is a first entry. Push down. Once this candle breaks higher than these, that's your second entry long. Really, I like it here though. And look what it did, boom. That's a first entry, second entry long, okay? Now let's look at it in reverse using the zigzag. If we look at this low, this is a first entry, push down, push up right here. Second entry, short, boom, okay? Now that's really just, that's one setup. And you can take it going long, you can take it going short. Now, the next trade that I love is the higher low. You can see one right here. Here's a low, push up, here's a higher low. Once this candle breaks higher as your signal candle, the higher low is in place and boom, off to the races. Now, let's look at the lower high. Here's a high, push up, this is a lower high. Once this candle breaks under here, you're in the game, lower high, Boom, off to the races. That's it. Those two setups, you can go long or short, is all you need. Now, there's, there's, there's other price action setups, but these two are the best. These two can put you in the top 10% if you learn how to take them within the market cycle. Um, so, I didn't bait and switch you. Those are the two setups. Learn to see them, <laughs> learn to take them, and your trading will greatly, greatly improve. Okay, but I, I wanna, I wanna, let's 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 go back over the intro a little bit. Let's talk about Kareem. So let's let's just focus on Kareem for a minute, right? And I, you know, we said that his his patented move was the sky hook. Now here's the thing about it, though. Here's the thing I want you to think about. Kareem didn't take the sky hook from the three point line, right? He really didn't take it from above the free throw line. He would get in the paint, get you on his back. And if he got you on his back in that paint and magic delivered the ball, it was a bucket, right? It was a bucket. That was, that was his patented move. So I just wanted to point that out. It's just like that in trading, you know, you have to take your particular shot in the right situation so with that thought in mind you know when you look at a price chart you know i don't take i use the ema as to let me know where i'm at on the court like if we were if we were comparing a price chart to a basketball court the ema lets me know where i'm at right and i've said this maybe in almost every video the best trades are near or off the 21 ema so just like kareem will wait till he was in the paint had you on his back and he knew it was a bucket when i see something like this a high push down lower high right off the ema close lower than the bars to the left and on his bottom i know that's a bucket you see what i mean and so you have to trade like that also Every, every setup, every setup is not 
a good setup if it's not in the right spot on the chart okay so the two best setups is the second entry long the second entry short higher low and lower high i take those setups every day you guys see me take the same two setups every day but i take them in certain spots you know i want my i want my high lower high to be just like this okay this is the only trade my wife takes my wife is a profitable trader and she doesn't do anything but take this trade right here she actually takes the higher low though but it's the same thing in reverse you know or like this one right here would be her trade this is her trade this is what she waits to see and she wants it right off this ema and she's profitable only taking that one trade you know so you don't have to you don't have to take a lot of trades or a lot of different trades you just have to master one setup but what i want to point out though is that you don't just take that trade anywhere you know like you know how i'd be like okay so like you may say that this is a high then lower high i'm not taking this one you know why i'm not taking this one we're too far away from the ema this is like taking a three a, a sky hook from the three-point line you get it but if you take that sky hook in the paint right here off the ema that's money that's the difference and this is why i emphasize on learning how to read a price chart because <clears throat> excuse me if you learn how to read the price chart and you know where your setup is going to come your win percentage is going to go way up because instead of instead of seeing this like most you know newbie traders are going to take this because they think they're trading with trend but you're too far what you've been too far away from the ema for too long and you take this and get trapped one two three that's a loss but if you take that same setup high lower high right here it's a win that's the difference don't take sky hooks from the three-point line <laughs> take your sky hook while you're in the paint okay so you don't need a lot of trades you need a couple good setups if you guys if you guys just go back over my footage over the last month i've been taking the same setups i take second entry shorts i take um well, I can't find one here right now, but well, if I come from here, first entry, second entry longs, um, I take low push up higher lows with a mile away to the EMA. Those are those that's my trade. You know what I mean? That's my trade. And it and it works right here. Low push up higher low, closing your top. Boom. Boom. This will be wifey's trade right here. She got a buddy EMA, couldn't go lower, couldn't go lower, close on his top, missed everything over there one two three boom that's her trick she takes it all the time so i'm just saying you only need a couple good setups but what you need to do is make sure you're taking your setup on, on at the right spot on the chart just like you would take the sky hook while you're in the paint hey guys how's it going today is november 1st 2023 this will be our work study lesson for the day so we were looking at the Euro USD. And so here you can see we have a trend down, trend break, one, two legs down to a new low. So once the new low was in place, you could start looking for longs. So we have a low here, push up, higher low. Look at this beautiful signal candle. Closed on its top, closed higher than the bar to the left, closed above the EMA everything to like about that one and if you look here this is nothing but a trend up trend break retest so you're expecting another leg this distance even though this one bar is kind of that distance but the rule of two is still in place here and you get it one two three that's the win and then you work up here now you also get another low push up higher low but you're way too far um, away from the EMA at this point so I, I don't like this then here you get the you got a new high well not a new high but count from this high here first entry push down push down Let's look at this second entry long look at how big that stem is that's a lot of rejection now the candle is red but you you can definitely still count that as a second entry long it closed higher than this one this body to the left and all that stem is is by pressure 
you know, it's red, but this is a bullish candle. You take that, that's a home run. One, two, three. Also, when you're looking at this, you're expecting to test here off of this leg. So that's this is really nothing but a leg. Trend up, trend break, retest, rule of two. And so when you get this first entry, second entry, this red candle, man, all that stem, I like it. And it takes off. Um, but now you get another low, higher low. These are too far apart to count that as a higher low. And you're too far away from the EMA. And right here, you got to enter into new highs. You, you've already made it to the target. You know, the next target is over here, but you don't know that we're going to get there. We could easily range at this point. So you got to skip this one. Um, one, two, and it, it would have worked, but you got to skip it. And then once it works, you got a new high in place. You know, this high is higher than this one and this one. So you hit both targets. Um, so you, you, you definitely can't take this one. So now you, you got to think that, boom, we've had a trend up, trend break, second entry, center of the pattern, another leg might be starting to come lower. And that's exactly what's happening. So if you count from down here, this is a first entry, push down, second entry short right here. Now you got to be reading the chart to catch this one. You got to really be a good chart reader to catch this one. But if you had noticed that you had already got two legs back or two legs up on this one and this this market cycle was over, you'll catch this one. And so that just comes with time with reading the price chart. Um, so don't worry if you miss it. But this is this is a the zigzag will help you with this. This is from this low. This is a first entry, second entry short all day. Strong candle close lower than this body and the stem. That's a second entry long. You're you're a good distance away from the EMA, so you, you're expecting to pull back to the EMA at least. So that's a good second entry short right there. Then it works, so you know, you know, we're probably gonna be coming lower now to test here and here. These are your these are your new targets, this low and this low. So then you get a nice, you get the you get what I consider almost a perfect high push down, lower high, trap it fairly ticked higher trapped everybody's still going along because they didn't realize this market cycle was over and look at the strength of this candle Oof! pull down close on this low and again now you're thinking trend down trend break retest rule of two man it closes so strong boom one two three that's a win then man if you caught this one you know one two when this one broke higher and started pushing back down for your win Put your finger on the trigger. Get ready for another one because now you know you're going to get another high, push down, lower high. You're getting a f almost a falling hammer. On that close, go immediately. One, two, three. That's another win. Then it happens again. Pushes up. Now, a lot of times I'll be saying that this one is too far from the EMA, but it, it's not because it came back to test it. And then look at all the strength. Again, you get a, 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 a signal from the stem this time it's a sale pressure signal that man we just can't go higher try to go higher here warning shot don't do it try to go higher here this is a doji really don't know what's going on but then when it broke higher here like it was finna make a first entry eh, second entry long and then it shot back down like this now you 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 usually want a little bit more body but man you've been dropping and you just won one two three in a row Hey, I'll try that one. And if you do, it's the best trade of them all. It's the home. It's a home run. Boom, you drop. Now, also, when you see this, we've gotten past this target, but this target is still in play. So you still know that there's room down. Um, and it's just a lot of momentum. I mean, it's just a lot of momentum here. I, I like it. I like it. I would rather more body, but I like it. Get that one. Boom, home run now the new low is in place so really you kind of had a trend down one two legs back and then another drop so this whole big boy market cycle is over so now you got to switch your mind again and be like all right you know that drop is kind of over uh, if, if it seems like we're here in the bottom we probably can go long and that's exactly what happens you get the bottom here you pushed up came back now you got a low push up 
higher low. Then you get a huge signal candle broke higher than everything right here. Money, money. Take that one, two, three. That's a beautiful trade right there. Um, but then it took it right back. <laughs> so now you're looking at the EMA. This is a trend down. This is a trend break. This is a retest to a new low. So now you got another new low in place. So what are you looking for? Uh, a higher low. So then you get the low right here, push up higher low. This signal candle kind of dud it out. Um, it's iffy. It dud it out. It didn't close higher than the bar or the stem, but it's still a bullish candle. And you can, and you kind of feel like again this low was in place. You know this market cycle is played off. This this rule of two. The rule of two is definitely played out. Trend down, trend break, retest, new low. So the rule of two has played out here. So you can take this. I, I'll be honest, I, I kind of don't like this signal candle, but you can't take it and it would have worked. Not the best signal candle, but it would have worked. Um, but then when you get this low push up, higher low, broke lower, this seems like money. But again, you get a candle that doesn't close uh, above. Um, now, you do have a target here and here. And this is a, this this candle was more bullish than this one. But I don't like this one. The reason I don't like this one is because, again, it didn't break higher. Same reason I didn't like this one. But the main difference between these two is this one is still under the EMA. And I feel like the EMA is, is going to always act as a magnet. So that's why I like this shaky signal candle better than this shaky signal candle. And as you see, this one didn't work. That's why you don't take shaky signal candles. That's why this one is such an iffy entry. You know, you want a candle that closes on its top, like uh, or like this one. Close on its top, close higher than the one to the left. That's the type of signal candle you want, right here. This kind of signal candle you want. This boy here is iffy. As as bullish as this one is, still iffy. Didn't close, you know, higher. And also. There's a third reason to skip this one. You've already had a trend up, trend break, retest. That rule of two is played out. So you don't know what's going to happen over here. So that's another reason why not to take this one. So that's why I didn't mark that one. Um, and then at this point, the EMA is moving sideways. EMA is moving sideways. You don't, here's a high, push down, lower high, but you don't take this one because you're not even thinking about going short anymore because this short move has already played out. And so at this point, we're just ranging. We're just ranging. You see this and boom, that's a signal candle not to go long. So this high, excuse me, this low push up higher low right here. You can't take this. This is a warning shot. The signal candle is, is, is worse than this one and this one. You can't take this. Go figure it worked, right? That's how it is. It worked but you just can't take that it bounced right off the ema it barely closed higher than this one to the left you, you just can't take it you just can't take it you have to be patient and wait but if you're patient you get a low push up strong push above the ema came back couldn't even come touch the ema again and then look at this monster out and this monster clears this target kind of matches this target so now you're like finally finally we're going to come to test here you take this one one two three there you go so there were some good entries um, today you had to be patient and you had to really read the price chart which is why we do these work stu study lessons so you can learn how to read the price chart you have to always be thinking about the rule of two always be thinking about the market cycle and always have targets and always take good signal candles so you see there's a lot to trade in you know you don't just pick trading up and start winning the next day and this is why because you have to be able to read a price chart and that just takes time so again i want to say give yourself time to learn how to trade stay on demo or if you do go live just you know risk a dollar um, but if you're new you should really should just be on demo and focusing on reading a price chart matter of fact you know, you should just pull up charts, do a screenshot and just practice doing this. Just practice seeing the entries. That's the best way to learn. I just want to say it again. That's the best way to learn 
is to just, you know, pull up charts and uh, mark them up and then you'll get better. And then when the market is when you're in the market in real time, you'll see these trades coming. So let's jump into the trade bonus. Now is a great time to please like, please subscribe if you have not done already and share with somebody else. Let them know what's going on in this channel. All right. So let's jump into the trade bonus for today. My name is JD, and as always, I wish you increase on the sudden. Bye-bye. Now, we have the low push-up. Here comes the higher low. Still a mile away from the EMA. We got a low push-up, higher low. Beautiful candle coming. Mile away from the EMA. Broke higher than everything here. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice here. And again, we got a low push up, high low, strong signal candle, rolling back to the EMA. Three minutes. Closing your top, 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 good close. Home run. All right, so please remember to subscribe if you're new and please like, you know, like, like, like help your boy out i greatly appreciate it and hey if you have time today learn some more price action all right we're gonna have a great month let's make this a november to remember later